to like look at the dollar system, not to pivot this into the dollar right away, but <laughs> the dollar is like shaky ground. It's, it's the, the most dollar. who truly understands the dollar system. I mean, the totality of it, the euro dollar system, the way that monetary policy interacts with the economy is monetary issuance inflationary. What's the relationship between unemployment and inflation? Even policymakers don't understand these things. Economists don't seem to understand them. What is inflation? How do you define inflation? None of these things are really known or knowable. So a lot of people kind of make a claim that there's a lot of manipulation possible with the dollar, with the with those currencies. If you couple that with the fact that people don't understand it, and yet there's claims that being manipulated by centralized power, how do you bring those two ideas together? If no one understands it, how can you manipulate it? I think what we don't understand are the long-term consequences of our structures. So like the Fed's mandate to target unemployment and steady, um, you know, exchange rates or low inflation, you know, what we don't understand is, okay, what is the result of doing that continuously for 40 years? Right. What is the net effect of that? What is the consequence of the long-term accumulation of debt and, you know, basement interest rates, what is the net effect of that on society? We might understand just much short, short term features of the system, but I think it's the longer term features we don't understand. Do you think there's like malevolent people, like people that don't have good intent in central banks, like in the system? You know, uh, when you have centralized power in any forms, it's susceptible to somebody hacking the system, taking the power, and in the shadows, this is where conspiracy theories come in, right? In the shadows, be able to, uh, you know, uh, act out things that have a lot of negative impacts on a large percent of the population in self, in greedy self-interest. Do you think there's people like that? Or do you think fundamentally most people are good, even those associated with the, uh, sort of central banking. Oh, I mean, I don't villainize those people. I think everyone is the hero of their own story, right? So they all believe that they're a force for good in the world. You have to. Are there any true villains? I don't think so. I think they get socialized into a world where they believe their particular skills and their mandate is you know, what they should be doing. Um, I think they might be presumptuous or arrogant in some cases. Um, and, you know, I think it's more of a systemic issue where you have a small handful of very homogenous types of people with PhDs, uh, from the same institutions that are brought up in the same cultural context that, um, you know, set policy and wield a tremendous amount of control over society. And I think they have this notion that you can tinker society, you can play with a few key variables and tinker society into a state that is desirable or good, and that's what they're trying to do. Uh, and I think the consequences of that can be pretty bad. But no, I don't think it's uh, born out of malevolence. 